Hey, sneakers, back again today. Back again, a couple of days off again, didn't I? <clears throat> Been playing too much Vendetta. Today we're back with a Fedora-based distro, Hathana Linux. It's based on Fedora 17, <clears throat> but this comes with LXD stroke open box. Well, it's more LXD, really, but they're both the same. I mean, yeah, sort of. Yeah. <clears throat> so anyway, so you think it's a bit of Fedora, but when LXD make it a bit quicker, this could be the baby for you. Now, I had a couple of problems on several machines, but they weren't no big changes, but I'll tell you about a bit later. This is only a short video, by the way. I'm just going to go through it with you. So down here, we get our logout shut down, we get a screen lock, time and date, sound, my intranet or internet, and what my CPU is doing, which is nothing. Over here, we get our two workspaces, and we get open the desktop, and we get LX terminal, and we get our file manager. Ah, okay, that's enough of that. Open up our menu. Right, <clears throat> there's not too much in here at all, really. You get Eekboard. Open up Eekboard. Hello, Eekboard. It's another you know, desktop keyboard or for your screen. There's two here, by the way. So you can type away and do stuff whatever you wanted to. Nice, lovely jubbly. And we still get this problem of things hanging in this down here on the desktop notification. Okay, file manager is PC Man file manager or PC Man FM calculator for calculating stuff. In the on-screen keyboard or indic, that is another one as I said to you before. Leaf pad for doing stuff. Parcel light, X archiver, and X pad. And the graphics, all you could get is a PDF viewer, an image viewer, and empty paint. Internet, Firefox is your baby as standard here. On while Firefox opens, I'll have a little bit of a drinkage. Mm. It's not super, super fast, so it should be, but hey. So anyway, yes, <clears throat> come straight to the Fedora page. That's Fedora Planet News. Is that Fedora running on a Raspberry Pi? Well, yes, you can get a Raspberry Pi to run Fedora. There is an ARM-based one out for it. Yeah, plenty of pies out there. You should be able to go and get it from your local store if you're in the UK. Maplins is the one to go for. They're doing a kit at the moment, which includes the Pi B, keyboard, mouse, power supply, a US, uh, sorry, SD card with, I think it's Debian on it, with LXD. So if you fancy it, go and give it a go. 60 quid, I think. Or 60 squid, one or the other. So yeah, that works okay. We'll go to Google just in case. There we go. Lovely, jubbly. We'll open up YouTube. Bearing in mind, Flash is not pre-installed. No, as it just told me. If you've not pre installed, you'll have to go and do it yourself. Yeah, that way. That way. Anyway, enough of that. Slife it is for mail and transmission is for your torrents if you use them at all. Office is LibreOffice. I'll open up LibreOffice Calc for a change. It should be reasonably sprightly, I suppose. Yeah, there you go. Look. Mm. Another drinkage. And LibreOffice Calc is open for us, which is alright. Okay, as you can see, this is going to be a really short one. Sound and video, a Sunder and Gnome Baker come as standard, as does GXZine, Music Player, and Pulse Audio Volume Control. I installed Clementine, just because I felt like it, really, and I couldn't find Dead Beef. You can get um, Rhythm Box in the menu as well if you want to. Let's open it up. There you go, Clementine. If you like the old style Amrock. The baby is here for you, baby. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Give it to me. Anyway, yeah. What was I doing? Oh, yeah. System Tools. The usual LXD stuff, LX terminals here, the task managers here. I'll just open the task manager up for you. It's using 138 megs of RAM, which ain't too bad, but I was expecting a little bit lower. But there's hardly any CPU usage, so that's good for Fedora, really, isn't it? If you was running KDE, it began to whoosh over the top. Hey, what was I? Oh, yeah. Yum Extender. Right. <clears throat> I've done one lot of updates, and there's another load that needs to be done. I'm not going to bother doing them just yet, but I'll just quickly show you. I've done the first lot of updates and I installed Clementine from here. This is where you can actually use Yum without actually using the terminal, you know, basically. So if I just go to available packages and I'll show you how this bit actually works. I think once you do the next step of updates that it needs, what will happen is basically, <clears throat> excuse me, that it will add um, all the stuff and you'll get like the uh, software centre, which I don't particularly like in Fedora. That's just me, isn't it? Yeah, that's just me. Also, I've installed it on three machines one in the virtual box, two on hardware. The Intel CPU, which is dual core, was fine. The AMD wasn't for some reason. Dual core again, same basic spec, same RAM, but just didn't want to play. But as soon as I installed the new GCC compiler, which I think was a development one, the one in VirtualBox and the AMD machine just didn't want to boot, and that was the end of the story basically. But the Intel one is hunkly dorily fine. So yeah, maybe that's just fluke. I don't know. Could be one. It could be the other. Who knows? As you can see. Yum takes its while to get its packages available. So, say for instance, you wanted open shot. So, I'll just type in open shot. I'm not actually going to install this because I'm trying to keep it as short as possible. 
actually the, the version available is 142. So it's not the most up to date, but it's not the oldest in the world. Bearing in mind, you will have to download Blender if you want the free animations and stuff like that. Right, that's about it really. Under preferences, yeah, for your monitor settings, basic LXD stuff. Under administration, <clears throat> you can do your authentication, firewall, keyboards, language, printing. Oh, printer worked out the box as well, by the way. Yes, yeah, alright. Being XD, you can just right click there and we go to desktop preferences. We'll just choose another wallpaper while we're here, just before we finish. Tiny blast of red. Yeah, go on in. Why not? Whoa, that's a bit that's bright, man. It's twisted my eyeballs, man. Right, if you fancy LXD on Fedora 17, then this is the baby for you. You might not have the problems I had. Once it's updated again, it may be fine. I'm only gonna give it 79% though, because of the few little problems. But upon on the whole, it is really nice to use. So yeah. Sneaky Linux going out. LXD starting with Fedora. Nice. See you later. Bye bye.